here of this shithole that I live in. Uh, I'll give you a little tour of what uh, this place looks like. This is the kitchen. And as you can see, the refrigerator, the microwave, it sits horrible, man. And they, they re actually redid this kitchen yet. Can you believe it? Back in 2007. Look at this. Is this a mess or what? This is the uh, layout of the kitchen. This is the lovely living room. There's absolutely no furniture here. This is the windowsill that this asshole landlord refused to fix. You see the ledge is completely caved in. A rain could just seep right through. I put in numerous complaints and we attempted to do something on the roof and it really wasn't much to be honest with you uh, because the same problem came back again even the painters don't want to come in here and repair this because they repaired the same ledge about three times already and this is the same you know they got the same results so this is the living room but the only good thing about this living room look at this you're wondering why I never did anything or put furniture in here because I was on strike I don't want to fix up a, a sanitation dump this is horrible. The only good thing about this is this incredible 33, I think 37 inch Insignia HDTV. And I still got my uh, Kenwood stereo. I blast that shit anytime uh, the neighbors get start walking and making noise, which they do all the time. I'm trying to sell this. 32 inch Sony TV, the only one that's interested, 50 bucks and it's there, so it works perfectly. The Trinitron, 27 inch. And uh, this is my only chair that I sit in. Can you imagine this shit? This is how fucked up this is. This is the only quality reclining chair that my cat didn't rip up. Rip this one up. So, this is the living room. This is pretty sad, isn't it? I know, but just don't worry. Things are, uh, you know, in the future. Just These are all my tapes because I was in the video business. And I would have everything from adult to freaking boxing matches and TV shows, old 60s TV shows. I had a big business on eBay with this. I was making $500 a week. It was great, man, but you know, those days are long gone because Everyone seems to have grabbed those shows already on DVD, so the VHS days are long gone. This was the uh, fan, and this was my air conditioner. It's really nice. I have to get rid of that, unfortunately, because... Now, I have to clean... This is the lovely entrance. Oh, God. This is a fucking pit hole, man. These are the closets I'll have to clean out. Look at this shit. I'll give you a before and after when I clean these closets. That's going to be some job, man. I have like 20 years worth of shit in here. Hey, okay. closet one. Let's go to closet two. Oh, God. I can never bring chicks in here. I would have to take them to hotels. Very rarely. That's closet two has to be clean. That's not that bad. I only take you into this glorious bathroom. This is Hollywood bathroom, right? Okay, this is the sink. Oh god. This is the toilet bowl. Looks like there's shit in there, but it's not shit. Uh, <laughs> sad, right? Sad. Look at this bathtub. You can't get anything better than this, right? Grime, grease. I refuse to clean it, man. I refuse to clean it because this asshole never did anything. This landlord never did shit to fix up this apartment. Okay, he's a slumlord piece of shit. Look at this. Look at the grime. What is this? Comparable to Pat Philbin's uh, mobile home, right? Mobile trailer home. I think this is probably worse. Look at the grime and the filth. This is why I take a shower and... Ah. But 
the old fashioned freaking. Oh man. Totally embarrassing. Now let me take you into the lovely bedroom. Another piece of shit. The only good thing about this bedroom is that there's the uh, window is solid. There's no leaks coming in. So they did a good job on that end. Don't have to worry about the leaks coming in in the freaking living room. This is the computer where where bits and pieces is, uh, has been uh, nostalgic for many years. This is the bed. I don't even put sheets on a bed. I'm sleeping on this old pillow for God knows how long. Look at the grime on these walls, huh? Must be a collection of schnott and <laughs> all kinds of other shit. Now this is the uh, this is the other wall. I think they got better uh, they got better walls that are painted in prison. Hasn't been painted in years, man. Look at the holes in here. Oh God! Don't worry, man. I'm out of here. Okay. That's why I'm showing you this shit now, because I want you to see. Alright, this is one closet that has to be, uh... Hold on. Also, I have another stereo unit. Ah, uh, what's the point? I don't want to open this shit. This is a closet. As you can see, Half of this shit doesn't even fit me anymore. Especially this coat, which I haven't worn since 1990. It's about half my size. This must be a freaking medium. And this leather jacket, surprisingly, I'm starting to be able to fit in it because I lost a lot of weight. Yeah. <sighs> 